Um, that way then the campaign uh, leadership team can start looking at those names and determine who's the appropriate person to approach those individuals to serve in those capacities. So hopefully you had somebody as your scribe and, and you can give that information to Janice and I. Also you will note, um, if you, and, and I know after the, the colorful page, you will notice some pages where it has um, descriptions of these positions and it has blanks. So um, don't stop prayerfully discerning who might be some of the people that may not necessarily be the right person to be the chair, but they could be very helpful on a team because they're in one of the other districts. You know, for example, we mentioned awareness. It'd be great to have somebody in the various communities who can find out who are the uh, vendors in that area that could provide catering. So don't, um, I just encourage you to continue prayerfully discerning who those people might be. Um, Janice, um, have you, does everybody have your email and, and I phone I think I gave the business cards to most of the people that were here in one way or another. Okay, if you did not get a business card, get one from her and you can send her an email at any time. Um, the advantage of email is you're not going to wake her up when you have a brainstorm at 3 o'clock in the morning and you try to call her. Uh, you can send her an email, and she can look at it the next morning in her time frame. So um, go ahead and send her an email with that information at any point, because we're always wanting to flesh out um, additional individuals. There is a direct correlation, obviously, between um, uh, participation, which results in ownership, which results in what? Success. And I would say an investment in the future changed lives. But you're right. That translates into money. So I, I'm a CPA. So. Well, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna use the direct language and I'm the consultant that needs to put it in the context of mission. Now after page um, I think it's sixteen, you'll notice this colorful um, time frame for the campaign. Um, that's there for your general information. It is, um, it will be continually modified as we move forward. Some things may move up because we're able to move forward with some things. Other things may be have to um, move to um, a little bit later based on whether we're prepared. So this gives you some general time frames, but in general, we're, we're ramping up the campaign now and getting the right infrastructure put together, the resources, etc. And we'll do the preparation with the um, uh, prospect review and getting our top 40 for the top 10 gifts um, and that information. And then we'll move into the solicitation phases. Now, how this campaign is different from many is that our target date is the barbecue. To be able to have at least X number of dollars on hand. So at that event, um, as we tell the story to people that come to the barbecue about what's taking place with this uh, retreat center and how it's going to enhance the experience of coming to this camp, uh, we currently have raised X number of dollars, which then motivates people to say, gee, I'd like to hear more about how my church might be able to do that. Because we would have a communication about how you can do so individually or you can have your church participate. So we're trying to aim towards having a sufficient amount that it looks um, doable and gives the portrays confidence so that as individuals come to that event, they can um, take it back to their local church and say, gee, are we participating in this? I haven't heard about it. Okay, let's get somebody out there. And we would have contact information. Now the last four pages, because we're coming up on noon, the last four pages are for you to help us in another breakout session to identify who are some individuals that could be in the top tier, the tier A or the tier B, and they're gift giving. Um, so I would encourage you in your small groups, go ahead and discuss who are some names that you know from your local church, from your community, from your church that you may have served elsewhere, who are some individuals that, and all you have to do at this point is write down a name. Just put your name on the sheet, and I suggest you use the last page because you can tear it off. Um, just write some names down of whoever comes to your mind that you think could be potential. 